Like a mother hen fiercely protecting her young presidential sister and Senator Amy Marcus did not mince words in lashing out on the latest attempt to voice one over the president and the citizenry by way of a sugar importation deal. Likewise, in acting on an informant tip, she blamed a cabal of businessmen in cahoots with DA and SRA officers for cornering the bulk of sugar supply, dropped a DA official's name, and warned of a serious Asian swine fever relapse that her Eunice Monta sums up in the this report. Senator Amy Marcus has condemned the unauthorized and fraudulent use of the office of the president to justify the importation of sugar by some agricultural smugglers. Marcus said don't fool her brother in order to import sugar. Marcus lauded her brother's timely rejection of the planned importation of 300,000 metric tons of sugar, but also urged an immediate reshuffle of the DA's highest official to dismantle criminal syndicates within the government. According to the Department of Agriculture, they are awaiting the results of the investigation, but they are now focusing on the supply situation. The investigation is ongoing and we will wait for the results. Tuloy-tuloy lang po ang ating trabaho at ang ating commitment to protect our producers and also our consumers as well. There is also no need to import sugar because based on their monitoring, there is enough supply of sugar now according to DA. Meron po tayong uh, naging early harvest no, pagdating po sa sa sugar cane. Yun po ang impormasyon na galing mismo sa ating sugar cane planters at nag-resume na rin po yung milling no, this August. So yan po ang magdadagdag sa ating supply situation. Yung monitoring po at mga inspection ng warehouse, tuloy-tuloy po yung ginagawa. According to Senator Amy Marcus, local sugar producers reported to her office that sugar prices have spiked above 100 pesos per kilo because imports were being cornered by leading manufacturers of sugared products in cahoots with DA officials and were thus not reaching ordinary consumers. In addition to the sugar issue, Marcus also called for an investigation of Undersecretary Leocadio Sebastian Chan and other officials involved in reversing an import ban on swine-based products animal proteins from Italy and other countries affected by African swine fever or ASF. Marcus said that it is not right to turn a blind eye to the possible re-entry of the ASF that favors one agricultural sector at the expense of another. Meanwhile, the investigation on sugar importation syndicate continues. Yuni Samonte for the nation.